Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm picking up Amanda. I'm not awake yet. My car says 5.54 a.m. right now. And that's because it's on Pacific Standard Time and I might just keep that to like feel really good about myself, you know? Anyways, I'm trying a new hot Pilates class in Dallas. I've actually been there once before. If you guys watched my vlogs back right before I said I was moving to Dallas and then I found out there was a hot Pilates place and I was so happy. Oh, there's Amanda. Anyways, I've been there once before, but it was when it like wasn't even fully open. And they invited me back for a class, and so we're going. I'm vlogging. You got your car. Woo! Oh my god, Kimberly! Did you see my face when I was walking? No, I can't see anything. You know I'm blind. You are blind. <laughs> I was literally <laughs> walking up because I was about to go to that car because I was oh, like, oh, I, I know she's in a white <laughs> car. Yeah, no. And then I looked, I was like. Oh my gosh, you got her car. I told you. Well, we're off to Pilates. She finally found it, guys. It yeah, was a long heart. Forever. Literally forever. It doesn't really work. It's How? not like what I want. No. It's not good enough. <laughs> Amanda's mad at me because what I do love you sprouts. Want? Honestly, <laughs> Kensington. She literally is mad because I'm posting about sprouts. Okay, we're at Starbucks. Go to Trader Joe's. No, you you it's the best. You Okay. Pumpkin everything. Yeah, so does Sprouts. Sprouts has, and they have pumpkins outside. Trader Joe's doesn't even have it's it right now. They're, like, they're on their way. We're at they're Starbucks. I feel so zen and relaxed after my workout. workout. We really had a we had a amazing Oh, we workout. should give a review. Amanda actually liked it, which 10 is 10 out of 10. Guys, Amanda, let me put I on. hate working out with Kinsey. She takes me to the worst workout places. Which is normally the exact class that I take. It's normally like a Pilates class. But Amanda, like even three years ago, I took her to Orange Theory. And Literally the entire ago. class, she just glares at me. So I can tell if she likes it. The class, based off if she's glaring, glaring at me at the entire time. And she didn't glare at me. I didn't look at you, her once. You I me smiled. once and we smiled. Yes, and I, I, was like, I looked at her and I was like, doing the moves. <laughs> also, Orange Theory, I love Orange Theory too. Like yeah. I, the first couple times I hated it, but they redeemed themselves yeah. somehow. The workouts I grew on me. Well, so I liked it. I I hated it though the first time and the second, but then we kept going and it was great. That's all I'm gonna say. I just have so many problems right now with this Sprouts video I'm trying to post. Go to Trader Joe's, please. I mean, you can go to Sprouts, but I feel like Sprouts is more like a mom thing. Like my parents like Sprouts. Yeah, so does my mom. That's how I got into yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I said sorry, mom. I'll never. I'll always listen to you from now on. We got our Starbucks shakes. Okay, but look, it's mine orange. yesterday was orange. No, it, like no. this is not orange. It was, it looked very different than what it was yesterday. And it was just a random order that Dana got me. And I did it from the tag and I just don't know if it's gonna work, so we'll see. Okay, it's official. He, they gave me the wrong order, but it's fine. I normally, I liked it with the pumpkin sauce. I don't know why he did sweet cream and pumpkin cream cold. I'm actually gonna hate this drink. I, oh. I took a big risk. I just self tanned. And I have lunch in about two hours. So, um, I'm gonna look crazy, but I really just, I didn't feel myself, you know? Oh, a little cocoa. Hey guys, um, yeah, I'm fully in denial about the weather. It actually is cooler out today. Not this cool, you know? It felt really nice this morning. My favorite perfume, Alien, I'll link it below. Wearing the Aritzia Molina pants. I bought these in New York a few months ago and I've like barely even worn them. They fit really well and they're very, very comfy. Question, are there like dupes for these pants because they're very expensive? This bodysuit is Princess Polly. I have these on. I'm going to Park House with Nastia for lunch. This is the outfit right now. I actually think I'm gonna be able to stop by Jess's new place too. Um, I wasn't invited. Her family's here um, and she's busy and I wasn't invited, but she does have her bar stools here. And so I'm inviting myself over to bring the bar stools, but that's just my excuse, you know? Oh, here we are. Off we go. Come on, Coco. I mean, this haircut is a very good look for you, girl. You're looking really good. Okay, I'm gonna leave you in here then. Bye. 
Bye. But she just doesn't care about me at all. It is hot. The box is here. AKA Jess has to see me. She doesn't have a choice. Jess left Park House for lunch. It was fabulous. I went with my friend Nastia. Everyone there, very fabulous. Very beautiful establishment. I love it there. I think I'm gonna get a membership. Anyways, now I'm going to Jess's with my genius plan to invite myself to her house. We're off. Guys, Sippin' in Dallas just posted about me and my friends and I are like obsessed with her. Like, actually it's kind of embarrassing. And everyone's freaking out in the group chat. So, you know, happy Tuesday. Okay, I'm back. I dropped off stuff at Jess's. I think I'm actually gonna go work at Amanda's down the street. Amanda and I were friends in LA and we're neighbors here and her brother and sister-in-law are pastors. But I texted her and I said, hey, I actually think I'm gonna come over. Then she FaceTimed me and I was actually getting ready to go to her house and I'm gonna bring pizza. And then I think we actually have church tonight, but I'm um, gonna get some work done. I need to record ads to send um, in and then I'm gonna head over there and get work done. I just feel really gross today. Like I had to self tan this morning and I really didn't want to just with my schedule in life. And I just feel like, you know, one of those things, but this is my outfit. Again, I'm pretending that it's fall. It is slightly cooler today by the way, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm bringing some beverages over to Amanda's. We have some better booch. We have some poppy. Poppy is for her, better booch is for me. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this stuff recorded. We're gonna be on the go. Get a new car, dude, just wanna go everywhere. Guys, my self-cleaning robot vacuum, vacuum? Vacuum mop is going. <laughs> this is my favorite thing ever. I was out until midnight last night, which I never do on weekdays. Here we are. I'm tired, but we're getting the day started. I'm gonna be doing a set active haul later. I came home. This I purchased myself. This they sent, and I am so excited. It's just in time for my trip. Like, I will for sure be wearing these. I just think that they're so cute. The new Magic Spoon seasonal cereals came, and I am so excited. I love cereal. I stopped eating it because it's really bad for you, and this is like a healthier version of cereal. And it is so good. So this is pumpkin chai, and then this is apple cinnamon. I am gonna try the pumpkin chai this morning. Getting my nails redone. To be honest with you, I have a lot to do today. I already got one video edited. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm getting tea with my mom, my grandma, and my grandma's best friend, Sandy, who I am obsessed with. That's at 12.30, I need to get my nails done. Those are like the fun things, but I also need to do a bunch of laundry, I need to pack, I need to get a ton of work done because I'm gone for the next 10 days. And just like overall, I have a lot to do before I go out of town. I wish I didn't have to get my nails done, but like this one is like, I, I have to, you know? But I do have nail info for once. I was just listening to a little bit of my episode with Jess that's probably out by the time this comes out. If not, it's coming out soon. It is my favorite podcast episode I've ever recorded to date. Like, very exciting. Uh, I'm gonna make Jess come back on the podcast a lot. Anyways, my hair is drying. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go try to get Starbucks. Uh, Amanda and I, by the way, Amanda and I went back to Starbucks last night before church. And this, and then they got her coffee order wrong. So we're just having a bad luck yesterday. We were just having bad luck yesterday, but it's fall. It's actually chilly out. I'm wearing a little set. I'm going to get my nails done and I'm getting a pumpkin coffee. I mean, today is my day. Going out of town. I already missed the dogs. Obviously I'm wearing my favorite shoes ever. I mean, they're just unreal. Here is the before of my nails. Okay. So I got the coffee again, we're gonna try it. And it's so slightly different, so I don't know. And then just I buy it, so we're on our way. I actually cannot make this up, like this is what my nails look like. This, I'll put the inspo. Actually, I'll insert the TikTok. So as you can see, that's what I thought I was getting. That's what I showed the lady, we talked about it, and this is what happened. Yeah, um, not good, not good at all. And I go out of town for 10 days tomorrow. I just would never ask for them this thick. Like I always make sure when I get nails like this to get a really thin line of color. It's just definitely like not my vibe, but here we are. Okay, well I'm home now. Um, this is like, I just, I don't know what to do. I've never had like a bad nail experience where I'm like, get these off me before. I'll just look the other way, you know? I just don't have time. Like, today is just like a busy, busy day. I didn't have time for them to fix it. Anyways, these pants are, I think they're Princess Polly. They're like the best trousers ever. Like I could be wearing a blazer, 
but I don't want to. It's also 70 degrees outside, so it feels beautiful. I'm gonna drive with my windows down. My Skims bodysuit, my favorite one. I have some Princess Polly heels again. And then just this sweater. This sweater, and then my purse. And that's my look for high tea today. Guys, I like cannot get over this. Obviously, like, there are bigger problems in the world. It's just kind of funny. So, anyways, we are off. Love that for me. Guys, look at. I don't think you can even tell on camera, too, like, how uneven all of them are. Like, honestly, it's funny. It's funny, and it's making for good content. Um, it's really something else. So Dana's here. Now I guess Danielle posted a reel asking for like nail inspo and everyone's tagging me and they're saying ask me for advice. I just wanna like <laughs> cry. I have gotten a lot of good nail recs in Dallas. The thing is I go, I went to the nail salon I always go to and I've never had a bad experience. So I just like didn't like, people, like I, I'm not kidding. I have never had so many Instagram DMs in my entire life. I have people calling me. I, I don't know, <laughs> like I'm a little bit afraid now. It, it's just the place, like I love it because it is so fast. I can do, I can get like everything done in under an hour. That's why I like it, but <sighs> love that for me guys. <sighs> okay guys, I'm powering through the rest of the day. I'm a little bit sad because it said my skin package was delivered today that I ordered last week and I don't see the package. So not gonna cry yet. Um, I have some stuff from Sephora that I needed for my trip. I'm trying two new brushes because the Sephora 64 brush is out of stock, which is my favorite brush. Can you, I'm just kind of like slowly losing my mind. I got the 70 and the 56. So I'm gonna try these two. I was out of super goop, needed more super goop. Hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. My favorite, it's like $7. I'll link this all below. I needed a new beauty blender, and then I needed a new like body butter, and this is the Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. Oh wow, love this stuff. Great, love that. And then I actually got a package from, oh I actually got two packages from Set Active. One was an order I placed, and then the other was gifted. I got this little like beige set. I'm gonna wear that on the plane tomorrow. I got this set, so these are just little biker shorts and a cute tank top. Bring all these sets with me over the next 10 days. I'm pretty much just trying to wear active wear. I got little t-shirts that I just wanted to like wear. Honestly, I don't picture these as like athletic wear. I picture these with like jeans in the fall. Really easy. Oh, I love this set. So it's like one of my favorite bras, right? And then these cute little shorts. It actually is like cold out today. Well, it's like 70, but there's, it's colder than it has been. And then I got some little sporty suits. So I wear a size small in these by the way and I normally be a size medium and set. Um, but I got one in black and I loved it. So this is the green. Love this color. I mean, so cute, right? So that is my haul for today. I've gotten a lot of work done, but I just need to prep. So I still need to do all my laundry, put that away, um, pack and get ready for tomorrow. And also I really just need some like downtime to myself because I'm gonna be around people for like the next 10 days and I am an introvert. So I just need a night to myself. I am gonna hope that I'm done packing and ready for, to go by like 7.30. We will see, okay? That's the goal. Here's all the laundry I have to put away. And then here is a lot of my like Air Apostle clothing for the festival this weekend. So I actually do have stuff kind of more organized. So now that I think about it, it actually might not be like the worst thing ever. Thank God. I actually think I'm gonna be done packing until tomorrow morning when I just grab the last of everything. I'm so hungry, so we're gonna go make some soup downstairs. Heating up my favorite soup. I have the toast on. It's only 6.21. It is 7.15 and I can like 
barely even keep my eyes open. I am so tired. I went to bed or I got home at midnight last night and I woke up early, but like, that's like normal. Like I am just so tired. So everything is packed besides, I always pack like makeup and toiletries and stuff in the morning. Um, not that I wear makeup on a plane. I guess I could just pack that tonight, but I'm too tired. So <laughs> guys, this is just so embarrassing. Like why am I so tired? Uh, as I look actually crazy, I did want to just talk about something. Oh, I'm gonna use my favorite Summer Fridays oil. It's the Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. Really good. But anyways, I've just been like sharing recently how I was just kind of going through a bit of a hard time. And I am like overly aware and borderline like insecure to even up open up on the internet because I have a great life, like I do, and I don't ever want it to come off as like complaining, but that is the reality, and like, it's not just you and me, like, we can't really like, connect if we're not like talking about like real stuff, right? Anyway, so I was just opening up recently, blah, blah, and There was a comment, and this girl was like, you just complain so much, like, don't you realize that like any of us would love to switch positions with you, blah, blah, whatever. Like, your life is so great, whatever. There's a few things about that. First off, I have had really, really, really difficult things happen in my life before. I'm not saying I have the hardest life ever, but I'm saying I've had difficult times. Like I lost two people in my family, one in my immediate family, that were very close to me within a year of each other. Three, actually. Like I can't express to you how much I like keep off the internet. And, and like whatever, this girl can feel that way and say that stuff and like I understand like you see like my social media, you see like what I feel comfortable sharing on the internet. I get it can come across a certain way, but like if only you guys knew the stuff that like I don't share, like I promise you there's actually really, really difficult stuff that's like very hard. And that's like one out of so many things. And I don't say that for sympathy, but like the reality of life is like you only see what people are willing to share whether it's on social media or not and i think like again I, there's a lot in my personal life that i choose to just not talk about really on the internet and things that like i'm processing through and going through in like a private way i don't know like i remember getting comments like that too and it was like months after my stepbrother passed away and i was like these people are such fucking assholes like if oh, like again like you really never know what anyone is going through. So, I don't know, I was just thinking about that and honestly I was like, I'm not even like mad at this girl even though it's just like really annoying, but I get it. But it made me think like, I want to be that much more aware of like, I don't know what other people are going through because I think about my life and what I don't share on the internet and I'm like, wow, you know, that is a lot. You really just never know. Be nice to people, if you, especially if someone is like opening up and being more vulnerable. Yeah, like just because you see certain things on the internet and like certain aspects of their life it doesn't mean that everything is super easy. Again, cannot stress enough how much I do not share on the internet. Obviously, honestly, a lot of things that I don't even share with people who are really close to me. And I think that is just a lesson that we all can relate to and learn from. Just something I've been thinking about because at first I got the comment, saw the comment and honestly I was like really annoyed. But yeah, I don't need to explain myself as I've semi explain myself but more so i just said that so that we could get a picture of like you really never know so anyways um with that being said i'm also incredibly grateful for my life and i'm really excited i actually leave in the morning and i'm going to if you guys follow me on instagram and tiktok i'm vlogging this on tiktok anyways i'm incredibly grateful for my life Another thing i think too with like work stuff is people are like oh my god i'm so jealous like i wish that i could just do X, Y, and Z, and like, I have worked really, really hard to get here, and I actually do work very hard, and I have been doing this since I was 16 years old, and I'm 24. With that being said though, there's also a lot of people who try really hard and work really hard, and like it doesn't always like pan out for them, so I still do feel really like lucky, but I also did work really hard, you know what I mean? Anyways, two weeks have been a little bit more sad, um, but I'm really excited for the next 10 days. I'm going to Delaware for Firefly Festival with Air Postal, then I'm going to Malibu with my management team, and then I'm going to LA to record, I think like six episodes, and then I'm coming home. 
So uh, while I'm incredibly grateful and I'm aware that I'm saying that I'm doing all these cool things right after talking about that, I'm just saying that like, even though you're doing cool things, it doesn't, even though things like can look and seem really cool, like there's always stuff behind the scenes that no one knows about, regardless of if you're on the internet or not. And I think it's just a good thing to remember. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys tomorrow when I'm going to Firefly and we will see Dom. Okay, love you guys, bye. Hey, Kirk, if you had a bike, I feel oh like that would be you. <laughs> They, you'd wear race. the vest like the bikers like they are not stopping you know what I mean? yeah it's, no. a, it's a full-on like but i get it they're, they're on the move guys all gas no yeah. they're guys on the go yeah, yeah. <laughs>